In the previous episode, we discussed how to derive the Kirchhoff Integral Theorem. And in this episode, we are going to discuss how to derive the Fresnel Kirchhoff Formula using Kirchhoff Integral Theorem. First of all, we have to consider the aperture of an arbitrary shape, otherwise opaque partition which separates a light source from a receiving point. Source, aperture and the surface of integration and the receiving part point P constitute a geometric representation of Fresnel Kirchhoff's formula. And let's look at this aperture and the figure is shown in the slide. This is the geometrical representation of Fresnel Kirchhoff formula. Here we can see source S yes, and a point source P which is at a distant R from the aperture and the aperture is represented by using the letter N and this is the geometrical representation of Fresnel Kirchhoff formula and the aperture is very important in deciding the Fresnel Kirchhoff formula then let's see how to derive Fresnel Kirchhoff formula first of all we have to take some assumptions first assumption is the wave function u and its gradient contribute negligible amounts to the integral except at the aperture opening itself second assumption is that the value u and the gradient of u at the aperture are the same as they would be in the absence of the partitions based on these assumptions let's look at this problem that the validity of these assumptions is open to considerable debate. The results are generally good agreement with experimental observations. And let's see how it is possible. That is the the value of u function, the wave function u is given by u0 e rise to i kr dash minus omega t divided by r dash. Here, R dash is the position of the point on the aperture relative to the source S. Yes. And U is the wave function of the aperture. U, which is represented by equation 1, represents spherical monochromatic waves traveling outward from S, yes, the source uh, which is placed in front of the aperture. So, U represents spherical monochromatic waves traveling outwards from the source so it is very important to know uh, the value of u for the further calculations then let's see substituting the equation u equal to u0 and e rise to i k r dash minus omega t divided by r dash Kirchhoff integral theorem changes to up is equal to u0 e rise to i minus i omega t divided by 4 pi into double integral e rise to i k r divided by r into normal component of gradient e rise to i k r dash divided by r dash minus e rise to i k r dash divided by r dash into normal component of e rise to i k r divided by r d a. This is equation number 2 and the Kirchhoff integral is given by, we have already discussed in the previous episode that up is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi and the double integral u and the gradient which is normal component e rise to i k r divided by r minus e rise to i k r divided by r normal component of gradient u d a which is equation number 3. So, it is very important to note the format of Kirchhoff integral theorem which is obtained by substituting the value of u in the equation Kirchhoff integral theorem. And now, it is important to note that integration in the above obtained equation extends only over the aperture opening and the operations indicated within the integrand are carried out by involving some cosine terms those cosine terms are cos n r and cos n 
R dash. And let's discuss about these cosine terms and let's analyze the equations. And we obtain normal component of gradient E rise to I K divided by R is equal to cos N R into dou by dou R E rise to I K R divided by R which is equal to cos N R multiplied with I K E rise to I K R divided by R minus E rise to I K R divided by R square. This is equation number 4 and the next equation is that the normal component of E rise to I K R dash divided by R dash is equal to cos N R dash dou by dou r dash of e rise to i k r dash divided by r dash is equal to cos n r dash multiplied with i k e rise to i k r dash divided by r dash minus e rise to i k r dash divided by r dash square which is equation of 5. Here n r and n r dash denotes the angles between the vector normal to the surface of integration which is very important to uh, note while considering the above two equations that is equation number 4 and equation number 5 and also the second term in the parenthesis in equation number 4 and 5 are negligible compared to the first term where both R and R dash are much larger than the wavelength of the radiation because we know that uh, K the propagation constant is given by uh, 2 pi divided by lambda so consequently the equation 3 gives the value of up as minus I K U 0 e rise to minus i omega t divided by 4 pi into double integral e rise to i k r plus r dash divided by r r dash into cos n r minus cos n r dash d a. This equation is popularly known as Fresnel Kirchhoff integral formula. This we have derived Fresnel Kirchhoff integral formula by using the Kirchhoff integral theorem and it is very important in optics now we are discussing about the important phenomenon in optics called diffraction and i hope this video will be useful to everyone who love optics and physics for more videos like and share this video and comment your doubts in the comment box below and please subscribe my channel physics funder and press the notification bell icon for more notifications thank you